Hi. Hello. Welcome back. New sketchbook time. We're going to bust this thing open and get started. I'll do a quick mini sketchbook tour of what I've actually been working on. I have actually been drawing in this composition book. Once I'm finished with songs, I tend to write down the chords and the, the final words. So there's a little bit of that in here. I ended up doing this guy, which I quite like. And I kind of was like, oh, I think I like working with the ballpoint pen. It had been a long time since I'd done that. I started her and then, um, then I stopped. I don't know. I just sort of took a break or something. Um, and did this guy and then just was like, okay, I, I need to slow down. I just worked too fast and it didn't turn out good. And I went back to her and I've been really taking my time on this one and I'm really loving how it's looking. So I'm gonna continue working on her, but I, I wanna bust out the new sketchbook. So that's what we're doing today. This is, once again, the Stillman and Byrne, my favorite, the Zeta series. This one's eight by 10 inches. So it's nice and thick paper, 270 grams. And so a fun thing, I bought a batch of uh, National Geographic's, like I think it's like I bought the entire year of 1959 and they all came from this library. They came with checkout card things. So I wanna put this inside the sketchbook. It's even got a little card. Oh, how cool is that? I've got my own stamper here. Okay. All right. Okay, we can put that in there. Okay, here we go. Um, so this is what I'm planning, at least with this sketchbook. I'd like to do, I'd like to work from basically my own um, images, my own source material, instead of um, instead of uh, taking references from from my typical magazines from the 50s and 60s and 70s. I, I spent some time uh, in preparation for this sketchbook going through old photographs that I have because I don't really have a way to shoot any new references so um, I just went through I don't know hundreds thousands of photos and picked out tons of images of friends from from several years ago whenever I would go out and do things more often <laughs> than I do now um, and so this is going to be page number one which is a uh, photo of an old friend named Janelle Janelle, if you ever see this, hello. You're the first page in the sketchbook. We're gonna go ballpoint pen on this one because I'm really into that this week. And I'm, I'm gonna take my time. I don't care if this video doesn't come out until next month. I just kind of want to slow down. All right, full disclosure. It's been almost a month since I filmed this video. This was originally supposed to be kind of a follow-up to my video where I started the Strathmore Mixed Media Sketchbook and hated it. I thought it would be nice to, you know, have a triumphant start to a sketchbook as a follow-up. Um, but if you've been watching along the other videos, I kind of got distracted by making the vinyl record and then making a mixtape for a friend. Plus there was music videos, so this one got put on the back burner. But w when I wasn't working on those other projects, I was uh, I was working on this ballpoint pen drawing um, and a, a couple others that didn't quite get filmed. Uh, I, I I shot video of the entire process for this, and I didn't want the footage to go to waste, so. Um, here we are. <laughs> um, I, so I ended up spending uh, around um, three hours, I think, on this this one drawing and spread out over the course of a couple weeks. And I just, I don't know, I'm just sort of falling in love with the ballpoint pen. 
uh, more than I ever have in the past. Um, I, I've been just kind of loving the fact that it made me has made me slow down a lot. I I could usually knock out with my micron pens or in pencils. Like I could do a I could do a little five by seven inch drawing probably in under an hour. So to take three hours is uh, is a pretty it's pretty new to me. Especially as a parent to two school age kids, I rarely have that much time to spend working on art, but with the setup of just a ballpoint pen and a sketchbook, I could just set it up at the kitchen table and work on it whenever whenever I found a few minutes and luckily I could still film it as well. But then I'd have, you know, a couple other drawings going at the same time so I could easily set up in the living room or anywhere really just with the sketchbook and one pen so so convenient but yeah taking this long felt really new and fresh and it just feels totally worth it in the end it's not like i'm doing hyper realistic drawings or anything but the technique of drawing with very small marks almost kind of scribbling would just force me to chill out and and the results uh, i think have made for some of my favorite drawings I've ever done. As of now, I have finished three, I think three ballpoint pen drawings, including the one I showed earlier in the video that was done on notebook paper. And there is another new one that I did of my friend Marin. And I threw that up in the YouTube shorts thing. And then you can also see it on my Instagram. I'm also loving using my own reference images. I, I've sent the results to friends or if I'm working on them like in progress shots I've sent them yeah I've sent them to friends uh and uh everyone has been so sweet so far and it's been nice to have a reason to reach out and touch base with friends that I haven't spoken to in a while so total win-win there and I think that this sketchbook is gonna be solely made up of drawings from my own reference images. I can't remember if I maybe mentioned that earlier whenever I was kind of starting out in the video, but yeah, I'm totally, totally stoked on it. Um, luckily, I've got a lot of material from years of snapping pictures of friends, but it's also made me a little bit more aware, aware of my surroundings when I'm out and about. And I will still see people and totally wish <laughs> that I had the nerve to ask them if I could take their picture for a drawing. But I feel like it would be really creepy. I don't know. So I'm being even weirder. Like, <laughs> uh, for the time being, until I, I don't know, until I grow some nerves, I guess. I don't know. Um, I've been putting my phone in the pocket of my flannel shirt and just putting the video on whenever I go out and sometimes I catch a, a good shot so I can pause the video and take a screenshot and there I have I haven't used any of these images yet but those references are definitely starting to stack up in my phone I feel like I'm just ready to be done with winter so folks will start wearing something besides puffy jackets just I'm just curious when did we become a world of puffy jackets. I'm not. I'm not going to go on a puffy jacket rant. I'm just. Uh, I'm just. I'm sure they're totally cozy and worth it. But it's just. It's just an observation that I've made. Every time I see somebody that looks interesting, I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I would have to draw another puffy jacket. Forget it. Anyway, okay. Let's bring this video to a close. Uh, thanks so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, very fast, speedy time lapse of the first page of this sketchbook. Um, I may do more videos like this, maybe with me talking, maybe with some um, some sort of music or something instead. Um, it, we'll see. Okay, because uh, I have a lot of footage of another drawing, so we're gonna have to do something with that. And and I need a reason to finish that drawing. Um, so hopefully you'll see that one someday, eventually. Anyway, um, all right. Take care. I'll see you next week. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.